that's why you know, Ali won. Uh, so this is one example from the Prophet, how he treated non-Muslims. And there are many others. Uh, for example, even Imam Ali. Imam Ali was fighting Amr ibn Abdul Wood in battle, uh, a very strong Jewish warrior. And at one point in the fight, he had the upper hand on him, was just about ready to strike him. And Amr ibn Abdul Wood spat in his face, and Imam Ali threw his sword down and refused to kill him. People they ask, well, why is this? Why, why didn't he just you know, kill him and that's it? Imam Ali salam, said, when he spat in my face, I became angry, and then I was no longer fighting for Allah, but just to avenge my own pride. So he refused to kill him until he calmed down, and once he had, then he would fight him again. Now, can we say again, can we say that we, we would be like this? You know, I was just driving here uh, this tonight, and uh, I was cut off by another car. And just for a second I was angry. Can you, this Imam Ali is fighting a man face to face, the man spits in his face, and he has this much power to hold himself back. You know, Imam Ali السلام, he used to say that the strong person is not somebody who is physically strong. The strong person is the one that can control his anger. If you can control your anger, you are a very strong person. You know? Same thing, one time the Prophet وسلم, he was walking and you know, back during the Prophet's time in Arabia, they didn't have gyms you know, like we have today. So. They would train with rocks, big boulders, and they would lift them up and throw them to see who was the strongest. One time the Prophet, he was walking, and these men, they asked the Prophet, oh, like, uh, come and watch us see who, who is the strongest. And one man, he threw it through a rock, and the other man threw another rock. And one man threw it further than the other. And he said, who is stronger? The Prophet said, neither. I said, what do you mean? I threw this huge rock, look how far I went. He said, the one who is the strongest is the one that can control his uh, own desires, his anger, and things that, that he wants. So this this is how you should interact. How you should interact with them. And uh, Imam Ali was killed. He was killed while he was praying. He was killed while he was praying by Abdurrahman ibn Multum. He was hit in his head by a poison sword. And he has his killer right in front of him. Abdurrahman is right in, in front of him uh, with the, the shackles, with cuffs right on him, very tight. And what does, what does Imam Ali say? Does Imam Ali say, you know, uh, abuse him, do this to him, hit him, whatever? No, he doesn't say that. His own killer, he says, loosen the cuffs. Imam Ali is, he was hit in the head with a sword and he's telling the very person who did this to him, to have mercy on him. He even offered him milk. And Abdur, uh, Imam Ali says to Abdul Rahman ibn Muslim, was I not fair to you? Did I not treat you well? Did I wrong you in any way? And he had, Abdul Rahman ibn Muslim could not say anything. So this is, these are even Muslims. These are Muslims within your own community that he treated very well. Imam Ali faced over three, four civil wars. And every time, he faced civil war, he tried the best way to find another way of fighting. You know, these are our examples. And some people, they'll say, these are Imams, they don't make mistakes. How can I do, for example, Imam Ali giving his own killer milk? Some people will say, I can't do that, I'm not an Imam. I can't uh, have this much compassion, I can't be this merciful. Then what, what are the Imams to us if they are not our best example? What are they to us if we cannot act as they did? Of course you cannot be like the Imam, but you are supposed to follow the Imam. You are supposed to get as close as you can to them. The, imam does, the Imams did not just do these things for us to talk about them. They did them for us to do our best, to treat people with uh, mercy, to treat people with humiliation, not just to talk about it. Uh, Imam Ali also said that your aim should not be to uh, your aim should be to understand, not to talk about it. So Islam is a religion of practice, not a religion of uh, preaching. Uh, you know, even the people when they heard about Imam Ali's death, 
he was killed in the mosque. People in Syria, they used to say, Imam, you know, Imam Ali prayed. Astaghfirullah, they didn't even know that Imam Ali prayed. This is the same man who, when there was an arrow in his leg, they were asking, how are we going to get the arrow out of Imam Ali's leg without him feeling pain? They say, wait until he was praying, because Imam Ali, when he's praying, he is so connected with Allah, he's so focused that they pull it out and he didn't even feel it. This is the same man when he was fighting in the battle in Safin, he's looking at the sky, in the middle of the battlefield, he's looking at the sky. Why? Because of prayer. This is the same man who while he was praying, gave charity to someone who was begging. This is, and this is the same man who left this world saying, as salah as salah all, all prayers, all prayers. And some people don't, even Muslims, don't even know that prayer was so important to Imam Ali. So it is, we have to explain this. We have to tell uh, people about Imam Ali, Ahlu Bayt, and everybody else, especially non-Muslims. I was just talking with uh, a Christian the other day, and they were telling me, oh, I know this Muslim, he does such and such, you know? That is, how is that right? I told him, did you read the Quran? Does it say that in the Quran? What this guy did, is this in the Quran? He said, I don't know, I've never read the Quran. I said, well, there you go. As Muslims, we know we have the best examples. Prophet وسلم, is the best example for us. Muhammad Ali salam, is a great example for us. These people, they don't know about that. Some maybe they do, but a lot of them they don't know. So they use us as examples. So that's why it's important when you interact with a Christian, when you interact with a Jew, or when you interact with an atheist, you speak to them with a soft voice. Even, uh, even Imam Ali he used to say, speak, speak to them with soft voice. In the Quran, it even says that. Allah told Prophet Musa, when you go speak to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh, to speak to him with a soft voice. This is a man that did not care about religion. That was very, uh, did very bad things to other people. He still said, speak to him with a soft voice. Be compassionate to him. This is how we must be with everybody, with everybody.